Yeah, don't adjust your monitors. I have a mustache. How funny. Probably the funniest thing about this mustache is the fact that I did this last night when I shaved my beard growth off and then forgot I did it and then woke up this morning, looked in the mirror and frightened myself. Someone mentioned that I looked like Freddie Mercury and uh, I'm going to take that as a huge compliment. Galileo, Galileo. Hey, you know what we're going to do in this YouTube video, my friends? We are going to review a trunking configuration and verification, and we're going to do it with none other than Boson's NetSim product. Got my hands on this today, and I cannot tell you how much fun I've had with it. And I haven't practiced this NetSim exercise we're going to do, and it's a graded lab, so I might really embarrass myself in this video. So, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm just so envious of the tools that students have today when it comes to practicing for the simulations that they might face in certification or even hands-on lab experiences like the CCIE lab exam. So here we are in the Boson NetSim product, and one of the great things uh, that separates this from Packet Tracer is the fact that we have these lab exercises in it and there's even community ones linked right in here where you could go and, and grab one that someone has made, but I'm in one of the official Boson ones on trunks and it's just so cool because it's gonna grade me. And uh, I can't believe I'm, I'm having the courage to go ahead and do this in front of everybody and potentially fail it. All right, so we're on switch one here and we need to configure it first step with the host name of switch one. So that should do it. And then interface fast ethernet zero slash 11 and 12 to always be trunks. So I'm gonna do interface range fast ethernet zero slash 11 space dash space 12. And that gets us into the interface range configuration mode, switch port trunk encapsulation is going to be dot one Q switch port mode trunk. Uh, yeah, that's it. Switch port mode trunk. They want always this interface to be a trunk. These interfaces, I should say, I'm going to end. I'm going to save my config. I'm going to slide over to switch two because we're going to do the same thing over there. Of course, we're going to name that switch two. So that's host name switch to interface range fast ethernet zero slash 11 through 12 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q switch port mode trunk and save. And I don't know about you, but let's verify our trunks with the show interface trunk command. And when we come in here, we see that our fast Ethernet 0 slash 11 and 12 ports are in the on mode for trunking. They haven't negotiated the encapsulation. We hard coded it to 802.1Q. We're trunking. Our native VLAN is one. All of our VLANs are allowed on the trunks. Everything is looking really great here. And that's awesome. So what else do we need to do? Well, how about configure host A with the appropriate IP address and subnet mask? And there's a table up here of addresses that we are going to use for that purpose. So I'm going to go over to uh, PC1 or host A, and I am going to say IP config, and then we do the forward slash IP, and we can give the IP address there of 192.168.100.1 and the subnet mask of 24 bits. Great. Uh, we can verify that with IP config, I bet. Yep, we sure can. And we can see that I've got that address correctly. We're now going to go over to the second host in our topology, IP config forward slash IP 192.168.100.2 and our 24-bit mask. Great. IP config for verification looks great. And I think I have solved these lab tasks. Yeah, the last thing they wanted us to do 
is on switch one and switch two do verification. We already did that, but I did want to show you one more very cool verification. And that is the show interface. And you could pick on like one of your two trunk ports and then you say switch port. So it's show interface, fast ethernet, zero slash 11 switch port. And this gives you so much great information regarding your switch port. I mean, just big time uh, on the physical interface itself. It then goes in and it looks at the switch port parameters. So here's the fact that we are in switch port mode. So we're not a layer three interface. We're a layer two interface. Administratively, we are set to trunk. Operationally, we're trunking. We have the dot one Q encapsulation. The negotiation of trunking is in the on mode. That means we're unconditionally going to trunk. So you see, you can get all kinds of great details with the show interface, then specify your interface, then tack on the switch port keyword. So that looks awesome. And I am needing a drum roll sound effect right now because we're going to go up and we are going to choose the grad, uh, grade lab button. Now, I know I, you couldn't see that button in my demonstration, but trust me, it is there. And look at this. We did it. And I see that I solved switch one, switch two, PC one, and PC two, thus the green check marks. And look at this. I love it. Boson thought of everything here. If I had gone in and put extra commands, those would be highlighted, commands that weren't necessary. And if we had missed any commands, those would be highlighted. And you can see that, I love it, the switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q was a default. So very realistically, it doesn't show up under those interfaces. So cool. All right, well, that was a look at the Boson Net Sim, and it is not only fun, but educational as well. Thanks so much for watching.